I'm Kathleen Robbins, the head baker from Entenmann's Bakery. Today I'm going to show you some frightful snacks for your Halloween party using the Entenmann's Little Bite Chocolate Chip Muffins and Entenmann's Pumpkin Pops. We're going to make Entenmann's Spooky Spiders using the Entenmann's Little Bite Chocolate Chip Muffins. What I have in front of me is some pretzels, candy pearls, one cup of dark chocolate in a microwavable safe bowl because we're going to melt that. Line your pan with parchment paper. This recipe makes four spooky spiders. So I've taken the chocolate out of the microwave. It takes 10, 20 second intervals. Give it a quick stir to make sure it's nice and creamy. And use pop holders in case it's too hot. So I use a little fork. You could use any fork. And you're gonna put it in the side of the muffin. You're gonna dip it completely in the chocolate. Use a spoon just to add chocolate so it gets around the entire muffin. Give it a little tap. And then we're going to slide it off onto the parchment paper. We're going to use the pretzels to create the legs. And gently you're going to push them into the muffin. Like that. And we're going to do three on each side. So now when we cut the pretzels, you can see that we just cut off part of the pretzel. And try and find ones that make it even around. Now when these go in the refrigerator, we're going to set these up. They get hard, and this way they're easier to handle. I'm going to take two candy pearls to create the spooky eyes. Just like that. Try and get them matching. Actually, the kids will have a good time doing this as well. And there you have it, the Entenmann's Spooky Spider with the Entenmann's Little Bite Chocolate Chip Muffin. I've just taken the Spooky Spider out of the refrigerator, and he's ready for the party. Next, I'm gonna show you how to make these adorable little guys Entenmann's Mummy Pop-Ups. For that, you need a box of Entenmann's Pumpkin Pop-Ups, one cup of white chocolate, I've already heated that in the microwave, 10 to 20 second intervals, and stir it around until it's nice and creamy. We also are using candy eyes, and you can find those in your local craft store. We've lined the baking sheet with parchment paper, and with a fork, you're just going to put the pop on the fork and dip it into the white chocolate. You could use a spoon to drizzle the rest on. It's okay if, if it's not as smooth because a mummy has the string wrapped around him. I'm gonna finish that off. I have white chocolate in a pastry bag. If you don't have a pastry bag, you could use a sandwich bag or just use a spoon to drizzle the rest on, just like that. I'm gonna finish this off with the candy eyes. And there you have it. The Entman Mummy Pop. For these great DIY recipes, check out our Facebook page at Entman.